Today is September 19th. And yesterday we did have the release of Transference. We had the release of Blind. We had the Honor and Duty um, open beta that is going on on PlayStation VR. And I've tried all of these things. Um, so I've tried the Honor and Duty open beta. I luckily got my hands on Transference, but it was late. It was late in the evening last night when I finally got my hands on Transference. I have not completely finished Transference. I have been in there for at least an hour and a half, I would say. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, a good solid hour and a half. You know, I've heard a lot of people say Transference is two hours, you know, it's an hour and a half, it's an hour to two hours, It's you blink and, it's, and the game's over with. And um, I'm still in it. So I, I know I was in there an hour and a half, but I finally decided, you know what, let me stop. This is enough. I It was getting late. You know, it was pretty late at night. And I was like, I'm not going to like force myself to run through this whole thing right now just to go ahead and do that. So uh, I will be playing the rest of Transference today, most likely. And I'll definitely get into my thoughts on Transference. That, But let's go back. I do have... Um, a comment that was made on the show on one of the recent episodes, and I wanted to address this comment because I think it's kind of interesting. Pinnacle Rising left a comment. Now, this is 15 hours ago, so I believe, you know, yesterday he left this comment. Pinnacle Rising says, Anthony, I don't think you've played enough of Blind. I have heard that it gets ridiculously hard and frustrating to the point where it is unplayable. And then another thing that I heard is somebody was talking about, uh, is it Mike from Virtual Reality Oasis? He reviewed Blind and basically said that it's a dud, like skip it, like Blind is not good. Okay, so here's what I'll say about Blind. While I talk about Blind, let me go ahead and grab a trailer for Blind. Might as well have a trailer playing in the background while I talk about this. Um, so here's the thing about Blind. So I've played blind up into a certain point, and at that certain point, I got stuck. Let me turn down this volume. Okay. Um, so I've played blind for, I don't know, it seems like maybe a couple of hours. I don't know. I, I'm pretty early into the game, and I got to this one area where I'm stuck. And so this could be minor spoilers here just to explain where I am in this game. Okay, so where I am, for anybody that might actually be playing blind yourself, then you might realize where I, where I am in this game. Where I am is I got to this room, like a library room, where there are these recordings. That room right there, actually. That's the room that I got to. If you're seeing this video right here, th I think this is the room that I got to, where... Um, there's these little tape recorders, these little mini uh, recorders that are left around. And there's about four different little tape recorders that have, uh, you, you hit the play button and it's, a, it's quotes from your dad. Like your dad's talking about this, your dad's talking about that. And so that's the room that I'm in. And then there's also a bathroom. So there's this bathroom and there's this library and there's these four tape recorders and I'm stuck. I'm stuck on this puzzle. I, I don't know what to do. I've looked all around. I've explored every nook and cranny. And I'm not sure what to do in regards to the puzzle that I'm stuck in in blind. And it's almost to the point where I'm going to have to go and look at somebody's walkthrough and try to figure it out. Because I had these four recorders, and what I figured was you got to play these four recorders in the right order of when the recording transpired. And so it's kind of this puzzle that you have to figure out. And I guess I just haven't done it right. And so that's where I'm stuck in blind. And apologies, because Job is getting really close to this back door over here, a slight increase in background noise. But I'm stuck. I'm stuck at this part in blind. But, but what I do want to say is everything that I've played up until this point I've enjoyed it, and for 20 bucks, see, I would buy I would buy blind for 20 bucks. That's what I would buy blind for. For 19.99, I still feel like it's a real quality title. Now, what I'm hearing from some other people though 
is that the game just gets ridiculously hard. Like the puzzles just get ridiculously hard. And maybe I've just barely gotten to that point where these puzzles get ridiculously hard. But I'm enjoying Blind. I'm enjoying Blind just as much as I was enjoying Torn. Maybe maybe even more, you know, like Blind and Torn. Like if somebody said, you know, here's Blind, here's Torn. You know, which which one of these do you want? You know, it's a hard decision. I put Blind right there with Torn, and, you know, they both were 20 bucks, I believe, upon release. And I think they're both high-quality games for 20 bucks, but then they're kind of on launch discounts, and so now I believe they're both 25 And so when you go to 25 you're asking for a little bit more. Would I put that money on Winlands 2? Hell yes. Hell yes. Winlands 2 is the game, in my opinion. In fact, Mame Fan... Main fan sent me an email recently. He said that he has finished Winlands 2 and that it basically took him six hours to get through Winlands 2. So that's a pretty good length of time. You know, that's a pretty good chunky amount of time. And then you also have, of course, the multiplayer as well. So not too bad. Okay, so what else can we talk about today? One thing I can mention is salary... Salary Man Escape. Did you guys realize that this game came out for PC VR? Let's take a look at this video here. Salary Man Escape. This was by Red Accent Studios, is the developer. This was on PlayStation VR as like an exclusive on PlayStation VR. And now it is on, on September 18th. It just came out. So this is available for uh, Vive players, Oculus Rift players. This is now available it is nine dollars and 34 cents normal price is 11 bucks but it has a special promotion until september 25th until next tuesday this game is now available another game another september release kind of looks a little bit like uh, jenga or something but it, it's definitely you know it, it's kind of lemmings it's a puzzle game i don't know these games kind of piss me off after a while is kind of my take on the Salary Man Escape. Like when this came out to PlayStation VR, I was not very hyped on it. And now that it's on PC VR, I'm not very hyped on it either. But for those of you, yeah, a combination of Jenga and the Framed game, or that Catherine game, or something kind of like that, it is Salary Man Escape. It is now available on Steam. It is available on the Oculus Store, maybe on Viveport, not sure but that is available now. So for those of you that weren't aware of that, that is out there. Um, here is the Steam page right here. We can see that the normal price for this is $11, $10.99, but 15% off here, it is down to $9.34. And it says, tired of work? Feeling trapped at your position with no hope of promotion? Vent out your deepest frustrations. Hey, are you frustrated that you can't afford that 2080 Ti? That you can't afford that Pimax 5K Plus headset? Well, vent out your deepest frustrations with Salary Man Escape, a satirical and edgy physics puzzle featuring both regular and optional VR modes. So yeah, this is does have a flat version as well. This is Salary Man Escape. One user review. Oh man, that has got to hurt. I feel for some of these companies, man. They come out, Salary Man Escape, you know, Red Accent Games and Oasis Games. I'm telling you guys, timing. Timing is everything for a lot of these games. And I feel like, it's a bad time. It is a bad time to release a brand new VR game. Where were you guys in August? Where were you guys in July when we had a lot of weeks where there wasn't nothing going on? You know, there wasn't anything major going on and we were desperate for new games. But now we are just getting bombarded left and right. It's like all these games were in development. They were stacking up. Maybe some of these games were supposed to be out in first quarter 2018, second quarter 2018. They got delayed. They got pushed back. They had some problems. And we've just got all these floodgates that are opening, all these games that are coming in September. It's really kind of overwhelming. You know, I didn't even have this as one of my September games to think about. But here it is, September 8th, Salary Man Escape. It is available as well. Okay, now 
Let's talk Magic Leap, folks, just for a minute anyways. Let's talk Magic Leap just for a minute. Angry Birds, dude. Angry Birds on Magic Leap. Let's check this trailer out. Yeah, so that is Angry Birds, um, which is coming to Magic Leap 1. And, you know, looking at this, watching this trailer, this looks like the first, like, nice production value thing that we've seen from Magic Leap from a standpoint of this is a nice commercial, you know? I mean, it's well done. This is a nice trailer. It looks really good. The headset looks pretty good on this chick here. I mean, it, it's a lot better than HoloLens, I think. Magic Leap made the right decision, I believe, by breaking up and, and by having that little technology puck that you put on your belt and then having the headset on your head. I think it's the right decision because I think Magic Leap does look pretty cool. Crunchy says, yeah, I think this looks better than any other Magic Leap video so far. I really do. I mean, it's it's good production value, good design. Now, the question is, is it really going to look quite as good as it looks in this video? And then also, how much of this is not going to maybe fit in the field of view? It, obviously, it depends on how far you're standing away from it. She's pretty far back from these tables and from these areas where she is playing this. So it probably would fit in that entire field of view and crunchy said it would be darker if anything so he's saying like basically maybe it's not quite as bright as this why don't i get a little bit into transference i did play this i did try it out it's interesting to me that if you go to some of the various subreddits and whatnot the the take on transference is all kind it's all over the place a lot of people are kind of saying it's horrible like the controls are horrible it's way too short you know uh blah 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 all of this all of that so i played the transference last night for the very first time you know the real deal game and i played it on my oculus rift i played the oculus version because up until this point i had tried the walter test case on PlayStation VR and so this is on an oculus rift a little bit of a higher powered system obviously better resolution better color better details from a lot of these standpoints and I got into transference I was playing this and I gotta tell you man there were certain moments while I was playing transference like especially when it's doing this type of thing where it's going you know, and it's building the world in front of you and there's like things flickering in and out of uh, in and out of existence and all of this stuff that's going on. There were certain points where I was in this, especially when that weird monster thing comes right at you. It's terrifying. This game can be absolutely terrifying at certain points. It's the audio. It's the overall experience. It's kind of movie like. I was blown away by parts of this. I really was blown away by parts of this. And I thought, this is really impressive. But at the same time, one of my problems with it is the entire time that I was playing it, I kept thinking, this is only two hours. This is only two hours. This is only two hours. When is this going to be over? This has got to be over soon. It's only two hours. It's only two hours. Like I had that in the back of my mind and that kind of screwed the whole damn thing up. I wish I never heard anything about the length and just went into it and just enjoyed it. But I was always thinking about that. And I'm like, ah, this, is, this isn't going to last very long. So when is it going to wrap up? When is it going to wrap up? But... I enjoyed what I experienced of it. I thought it was super creepy, super interesting. Now, what did I hate about it? I hate the movement. The movement, you're, you're like so painfully slow, like just walking around. And then the other problems that I had too is like you can stand up 
full height and then you can crouch and get low. And I was walking along and then all of a sudden I was crouching and then I was standing full height. So there was a bit of some weirdness that was going on with my controls or I was like headed in one direction and all of a sudden I, I was kind of flipped over in another direction. It kind of reminded me of Torn in that regard of, uh, of, of some uh, minor screwiness that was going on. But visually, audio wise, in certain ways, there was like a five minute period that I was playing this and I actually thought to myself, this is the best VR game I've ever played. Like I literally thought that for like a five minute period of this experience. This part right here, that very beginning when that kid runs to the door and then this weird ass polygonal monster comes right at you. When you're experiencing this in the flesh, when you're there and it's happening right in front of you and the sound is so good and and the visuals are so good, I was like, okay, here we are. This is re this is some real shit. Like this is some triple A VR gaming. Like this is a glimpse of some next gen VR gaming. This is where VR should have been three years ago. This is what we've been waiting for. But but I got to be honest and say that I only felt that way for like a five minute burst. So for part of it, you know, I mean, for part of it, I did get this like, wow, this is like a really next gen VR experience. But then other parts, you know, I'm just walking around these hallways and I'm looking at stuff and it has these different monitor screens that are popping up. There's different things, messages that you can grab and you can read. And it's a thriller. It's a horror game. It's interesting it's 25 bucks. Paradise Decay says transference is creepy as hell with just the atmosphere. Yeah, the color, the way they do the lighting and the color. When you very, very, very first start this game, you're outside of this house, you're outside of this apartment, and you're like on the streets and you're walking over to where this like apartment is and, and where all of this stuff is situated and there's like a lamp you know and it's shining down light and it just has a certain look and a certain vibe and then you get inside the room you get inside there you start exploring it and you're kind of going through these different time periods you know you're flicking the light switch off and on and it changes it up it changes it into a different time experience and then you have to like you're, you're solving puzzles that are in two different time periods. And so in one time period, you grab like a doorbell thing and then you have to switch to the other time period and take the doorbell over to where the doorbell is missing. So it's kind of weird. The story's kind of convoluted. It's interesting. I'm liking it. I've got to play it more. VR fan Snakebert says, Transference also comes in a pancake version. Kinty Poo says, what system did I play Transference on? I played it on the Oculus Rift. It was a native Oculus Rift version. I did not play the Steam version. Ubisoft provided me with a code. So full disclosure, didn't pay a penny for this. And I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised I got a code from Ubisoft. I didn't contact Ubisoft directly. I tried to contact, I tried to contact Spectravision but they probably forward that, forwarded it off to Ubisoft. Got a code from Ubisoft, so hopefully that guy did not see my rant about Uplay. I did have to go through the whole entire Uplay thing. I did have to sign up. I did have to like re... Uh, I had to figure out what my password was for Uplay and get that logged in. All right, guys, this was kind of a shit show. That happens on occasion, but you know what? I'm here every day. I bang these things out every day. It's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows and unicorns. It's not always gonna be like that. Sometimes it's gonna be rather craptacular, and that's kind of what we dealt with today. But you know what? Definitely go ahead, bounce over to the website when you get an opportunity. Certainly subscribe to the channel, like the videos, all these kinds of look into that and push the button says bye bye yeah so we will see you guys tomorrow on thursday 11 a.m pacific time i will see you guys then take it easy later